Dancing, Dancing, the YouTube channel. Commentators, the next time we wanted to have our action going. And so, from the Young Cast Club, this is... Six three minute rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Introducing to you firstly, the boxing rounds from the blue, blue card, wearing the white and the shells trimmed with black. And the working scale, ten scale, nine pounds, six ounces. And there is the champagne, the Viagra, Maki, S, and Zelda, Zelda. And the boxing game, the boxing rounds from the red corner, wearing the black and the shells trimmed with white and gold. At the weight, he's scaled 11 stone, 2 pounds. A perfect undefeated record this evening. Five contests, five wins. Presenting from Doncaster, Jim. Thank you for the world. He's worked hard on that. He's a hungry. And also, the industrious Andy Brook is in charge of the action. Six, three minute rounds. Yeehaw! Boom boom, shit the room. Final uh, bout of the evening. The Southport Jake Goodwin of Doncaster against Alex Alexander Zeladon of Nicaragua. Referee Andy Brook. It's uh, a middleweight competition over six three minute rounds. Nice job by Goodwin. He's in his sixth professional fight with five wins, no stoppages. Zeladon. He's won six. Lost 42. He stopped ten times with four draws. 32 years of age. We've had to receive Zeladon before and he's a. Uh <laughs> two games for his own good sometimes, he's a bit, of an, a bit of an awkward character, a bit of an awkward customer. Those awkward shots, technically not great, but it can cause you a few problems. Tonight's show has been put on by VIP Boxing Promotions in conjunction with Freedom Boxing. Down here in Doncaster, Doncaster Dome. Legendary cameraman Mr Lee Headerstone Hogan. Myself, Lee, top of Whitehead, and Mike, all action Gormley. Former world title challenger and former Central Area, area champion. Back in the day. Thank you, top off. Nice job there by Jake. As Mike said, Celadon's an awkward. Customer. Yeah, he's a bit of a character. Good win just sticking to the task. A bit wild there. Nice there caught in good win. Referee for the final bout, Andy Brook of Leeds. Looping right hand again by Zeladon. Goodwin just needs to keep his guard nice and tight. Not, not rush anything. A fancy dance by Zeladon. Goodwin, legs went by Zeladon there. I think he twisted his ankle there. Yeah, yeah good shot by uh, Goodwin. Zeladon twisted as he fell over. Send that cool now.
Yeehaw! Boom, boom, shit, we're in round two. So, a 10 8 first round to Goodwin. Yeah, good into the round there by Goodwin. Zilla then went over, uh, seemed to go on his ankle a little bit, I don't know if he's trying to make the excuse, he twisted his ankle, it wasn't the shot, but I think Goodwin landed the shot cleanly. Zillard on needs to keep his head in the air too long. Uh, I think Goodwin will take advantage of that. As he did earlier. I think Goodwin needs to have that uppercut. Zellerdon's coming in. Well, Zellerdon is a bit, again, another unorthodox fighter. He stands a little bit too square when he's throwing his shots. a veteran of 50 odd fights, 51 fights I think, but not, not, very, not much quality, just awkward, but these are the guys you've got to be on the way up. technique, much style, and you know, he's getting hit well, off a bigger punch or, you know, he has been stopped 10 times out of 42 defeats, and, and, and physically and mentally he's not going to be doing too good, best thing is going to be doing man, get yourself fit, nice side guard, keep the hands up, don't get hit. Goodwin. And again. So I don't say don't hurt, but I'll be shots catching him now, we've got to be careful. It's quite tough, but you can only take so many of them. Surprise he's actually only been stopped ten times out of his fifty odd fights. The way he leaves his chin in the air. Three. You turn around there, Zeladon. Turn his corner when he's got a sore left hand. We'll see how that goes. I don't mean myself and Mike don't think so. I think the amount of punches there landed by Jake Goodwin are um, wearing down a little bit. Yeah, I agree with that. I just don't think he uh, fancies this one for six rounds. i surprised if it goes more than four. Even though this is the third round. And don't forget Zeladon's coming at a real last minute. His opponent has changed yesterday. So whether he's fit or not, we know we don't know. We've done ourselves, Mike. Haven't we stood in the day before? If you're not in the gym, you're not ready for the fight, you know. You, you, you haven't really got much in the tank. No, it's, not, it's hard work. It's hard to, to, to motivate yourself, really. This guy looks less like he's in survival mode. As I say, no disrespect to Alexander Zeladon, but if you took it a day's notice, you know. He's not been in the gym. He might be in the siesta somewhere. Oh, 
we've all enjoyed it here today. Advice from Doncaster Dolker is a VIP. Lovely right up to body off Goodwin. So, I find Zellerin quite funny. Yeah, Goodwin, Goodwin's trying to sit to his game plan though. He's not getting uh, frustrated or he's not doing anything out of character. Just sticking to his boxing. Yeah, well done, Jake. He's, you know, jab. He can only beat what he's put in front of him. He's got an awkward custom in Zeladon. Jab's going all over the time every time. In the backhand, he's, he's firing up, scoring at will. Nice shots. I don't think Zeladon's got much left there, Mike. No, I think the referee will keep his eye on this one anyway. Nice jab, nice jab. Again. Again, good work from Jake, he's just taking his time. Lovely job. Red corner Goodwin, blue corner Zeladon. I was just having a look at Zeladon in between the, the rounds there, Mike, he looks a bit tired. Yeah, he didn't look too confident, he, wasn't, he didn't seem too keen on coming out, but he has actually come out for the fourth round. You know yourself, you're alright for 10 seconds or so, and then the, the uh, fatigue kicks back in again. Lactic acid, he's giving it a little go. I think, I think he's giving it a bit of a last hurrah now from, for me. For me too. My personal thoughts. I think, I think, it stops this I think if Jake steps it up, I think the referee will have a, have a bit of a look at this one. Nice stiff jab there by Jake Goodwin. Over the top of that low left hand. It works out perfectly. Another double jab. Yeah, I'd like to see just Jake step it up now. I'm sure. I'm sure he feels that he could uh, do something in this round. Yeah, Zeladon's running empty now. If Jake picks this up, back up in the middle. I think referee Andy Brooks having a good look at Zeladon too. Yeah, he's looked him up and down, looked to his yeah, feet. He's not taking his eyes off him. Any second now, thinking of jumping. I think the referee sends sometimes, well, a lot of the time, body language. They have to make a decision it's in the fighter's best interests. He's not getting dramatically hurt as well done, but yeah. obviously it's a cumulative of shots. Gives a nod to his corner, I don't think he fancies this one. Yeah. The referee was a good look at him there, yeah, I think we've all sensed it here Mike. There's not much left here. No, I think the referee should step Zeladon. in now really. He just stopped him then. He's going to jump in any second now, look, he's ready to go the referee. The right, the right, the right decision. Zeladon there. was ready to go and he gave up there. First stoppage there for Jake Goodwin. Thanks all, thanks you all for tuning in to listen and watch on VIP Boxing Promotions. Yeehaw! Boom boom. Shake. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 31 seconds of round number four, 
Referee Andy Burrow to stop the contest in his opinion. Alexander Zeldon is in no position to continue. Therefore, you win it by way of technical knockout. Now, on the VT6, the best of the contest. And here is the time to win the contest. Jay Gilman. Any appreciation, please, for the Cowboys. Is this is the tomorrow morning. All to be watched back. Home from yourself, VIPboxing.tv on our YouTube channel. Thanks to our commentary team. Lee Whitehead and Mike Crawley. See you soon, in fact. We'll see you next week in Liverpool. Oh, I'll be watching some. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.